This is Paul, the tutorial guy. We're going to show you how to send an ACES appointment confirmation email. So, we're going to click send from the main menu. We hope you've had a chance to see our video, ACES is a sales tool. That explains ACES is not for every appointment, just the ones that matter most, the first ones. You'll notice as we go along, we've already input some sample information. Check out our other tutorial videos to learn how to insert information in your ACES system. Now, it's only going to take you about a minute to send an actual ACES email, but during this demonstration, it'll take us a few extra minutes as we introduce you to the program. With that in mind, let's get started. If you have multiple locations, you'll want to select the branch that applies. Here's where you put in your customer information. As you can see, you add in your customer name, email address, and phone number. Oh, and here you can add another number for mobile, work, home, or some other phone. Now, this is where you can carbon copy a landlord or possibly a real estate agent. Here's where you add your appointment details. You gotta know when you're gonna be there, so the first thing we input about the appointment is the date. We're gonna choose the 10th. Then you'll insert the appointment time. You put in the scheduled time of the appointment and the estimated ending time. Oh, you'll notice the current day is the 5th but our appointment is a few days out on the 10th. So, here's a cool feature where you can send an auto reminder to your customer before the appointment. People really appreciate the reminder and it shows your company's professionalism. So, 24 or 48 hours before the appointment, your new customer receives another ACES email, just like the one you're sending now. Here we'll add the address, including the city, and you'll notice the state will return to the last one entered, so you don't have to scroll up and down and search for your state each time. And of course, we'll enter our zip code. Now we're going to choose the appointment type. Let's go with home inspection. If you've got a lot of employees, you can narrow your search by choosing the department you've assigned them to. And here you can choose which agents are going to be arriving at your customer's home. We're going to choose Jim. And we'll choose the customer service rep that actually took the call and spoke with the customer personally on the phone. And you can choose the manager here if you like. It's a really nice touch for your new customer to see the picture of the person who's coming to their door, the person they spoke with on the phone, and of management at your company. We believe it really begins to build the trust factor between the customer and your company. At this point, you're transitioning from being strangers to friends. Okay, this is where you can add a special note to your customer. You can type a custom note specifically for this new customer, like, thanks for your business. Or you can take advantage of a great time saver ACES offers, the ability to save special notes about your services pre-built into your ACES system. You can have as many of these pre-built notes as you like, so let's use one of those. As I promised before, we'll show you more about how to do this later. Next is where you send a special note to your employee, seen only by your employee and not the customer. You can choose a saved note, and you can also alert your employee to any specific information regarding this customer, such as a map code or directions. And if they have any unusual pets,
So, here's an example of what your customer will see at the bottom of your ACES email and what your employee will see. You'll notice the employee copy includes all the details and special notes to the employee. Okay, the next section is attachments. You can choose to upload a file from your computer here or choose from attachments you've already saved in your ACES system. Finally, is your auto send after appointment date section. If you've already sold the customer and you're sending out a service agent, you'll want to choose the blue auto send button so that your report card, thank you card, and friend share request will be sent out automatically following your appointment. This will be based on the number of days you've chosen in settings. But if you'll be sending out a salesperson to do an inspection or sales call, you'll want to click the red Do Not Auto Send button. That way, your report card, thank you card, and friend share request are not sent out. However, once your sales professional goes out and makes the sale, you'll want to send another ACES email for the service appointment. This time, you'll want to highlight the blue Auto Send button and confirm their next upcoming appointment for service and introduce the service agent that will be visiting. You'll notice on your report card, thank you card, and friend share request that main is always the default. But if you've built into your ACES system, as we have for this example, multiple selections, you can choose them here. So we'll choose the receive your next service free friend share. You can send your confirmation from here. And you also have the option to preview to see exactly what your customer is going to be seeing when their email arrives. Let's do that now. It's got your company header and you'll notice all the information has been auto populated, including a photo of the agent, their personal note, the person they talk to on the phone, as well as the manager, and links to your social media and your custom footer. If everything looks okay, you can send the email from here. But wait, what if you decide to send a second service agent along on the appointment? Well, no problem. You can go back and make changes. So, let's send Charlie along with Jim and Go ahead and add to your personal note if there's something else you want to say to the customer. Then, after you add the note, you can go back and preview it again. And this time, you'll notice we've got two employees going out on the call. And we've added to our personal note. Okay, if everything looks good, you can send your email now. And you'll receive the message that your confirmation has been sent successfully. You can get additional information in the how-to guide or watch more tutorials by clicking here. And that's our video on how to send an ACES email. Let us know what you think about this video tutorial. We'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks for watching and thanks for being part of the ACES family.